Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So AR4789 has rolled out another concept, this time calling it Windows 11 2025 edition. And I've just taken a couple of screen grabs from their original uh, YouTube video, just to give you a quick overview. But I'll leave AR4789's original video link down below in the description. So go check it out and go show some support over on their channel. Now, once again, this is a concept. So you can't download this. It's not a real operating system. It's an imagination of what a version of Windows could be. So just to keep that in mind, because I actually always get asked in the, com in the comments, even after saying that in the video. Now, what we're looking at here, obviously, is the desktop. And because it is a Windows 11 2025 edition concept, I am seeing a couple of similarities with the current Windows 11 operating system. So here's the desktop with the start menu. And here we've got the little companion to the right hand side, which is actually something Microsoft um, is already working on and rolling out in the current Windows 11. Here we have our file explorer. And in the file explorer, we've got our gallery and that's just viewing an image in the gallery with photos. This is the File Explorer looking at your local disk and your C drive and so on. This is the Quick Actions menu in the system tray. Here we have the home of the settings page. Things looking quite similar. They're not much of a drastic change, albeit that it is a lot more fluent um, looking currently than the um, current Windows 11. Here we have some specifications of the concept of Windows 11 2025 edition. Here we have appearance settings where apparently you can change the design or layout for Windows apps. And here are those settings in this concept. A personalization theme, changing the theme. So there we have a, quite a red looking theme. Here's your notifications here to the bottom right hand side in the system tray. That's your desktops, your virtual desktops. Right-click context menu with a couple of quick shortcut theme um, options here at the bottom of that context menu. That's just another example of that. That's the search, looking quite compact. And I actually wish Microsoft would make the search in Windows 11 and also Windows 10 a lot more compact than it currently is. Uh, this is Winver about Windows, Windows 11 2025. And of course, uh, it wouldn't be Windows 11 without Copilot. What we're looking at here, we're looking at the taskbar settings and there's a couple of layout options. And there's something interesting because here we've got default, which is, that's default. Then we've got floating and then you get compact. And I think the compact is quite great. And a lot of Linux distros have got a compact option for the um, shelf or the taskbar, whatever you want to call it. So I think that's great in this concept. Uh, yes, just another view of the start menu with the companion with the floating taskbar this time in a different theme. And this is interesting. Here's your category view in the all apps um, start menu. And this is actually something Microsoft is working on already uh, for Windows 11. And then over and above category view, we've got name list, which is the default name grid and category view. So grid and, cat and category view are something that Microsoft is actually already working on for the current Windows 11. Media player looking very similar to how it um, currently is. And that's just shutting down restart sleep, which you just sign out and that's shutting down. So as mentioned, that's the latest concept by AR4789. The Windows 11 2025 edition and as mentioned go show the channel a little bit of support I'll leave the original video linked down below for you to go check out and something else just to take note of I see a lot of um, comments after posting these concept videos that there's too much R candy and users would prefer a kind of stable solid foundation when it just comes to an OS that runs solidly and gets the job done for what you need to get it done to do instead of having all the R candy and I totally agree but obviously this is just a concept and um, it's not a real OS just something different to kind of stimulate interest and um, just to look at a couple of 
imaginations of what people want Windows to look like or to operate like, which I think, you know, we talk about it so much on this channel, and I think this is just another way to look at things. So I totally agree for myself as well. I'd rather prefer a solid, stable OS than a lot of our candy with everything going wrong. But I don't think that's the point of these concepts. I think these concepts are here just to show you another um, angle or come in from another angle as to what a future version or a Windows 11 operating system could look like if it ever was made a reality. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.